Yeah. This song goes out to all the hustlers out there. Just wanna lead the game, man. You know. Keep calling them back, man. Look. When I wake up in the morning, you know what I see? The world is a ghetto, smoking on D. My little cousin 13, strung out on E. You can't blame him, his mama on C. Huh. Okay, 27, but she look like an old lady. Grind, grind, fuck working at Old Navy. Rather slang girl and make the world go crazy. Who am I? Man, I ain't no better. Just a young nigga lost trying to get this cheddar. Staring out the window, wishing on a shooting star. Trying to get done money, going by a stupid car. Pray to the Lord, trying to heal my flaws. Dialing to the heavens, hope he hear my calls. Wanna live the game, but I'm stuck and I'm trapped, so I call on my nigga Jack. It's calling my name <laughs> Trying to lead a game, but it's calling my name um, I've been fortunate enough to accomplish a lot of things in my career thus far um, Meaning more than what people would have expected me to accomplish uh, Due to some of the obstacles and, and, and things that were put in front of me uh, But I've been able to continue to keep moving forward I, I, I've, I plan the seeds, and what I mean by planting seeds is being able to not be afraid to go to zero. Not being afraid to wake up and say, I'm about to go to New York tomorrow. No plans, no money, like if it were a couple dollars, but nothing serious. And I'm just going to go out there and I'm going to network. I'm going to go, I heard they having a big show out there. I'm gonna, I don't have any tickets, I don't have any passes, but somehow I'm going to get in there. You know, and, and putting that in your mind, man, that's, that's been the story of my career. Um, my cousin was one of the first people to take me out on the road uh, that believed in my music career. You know, um, I was doing local shows. Uh, my cousin Desmond, he, he managed Mac Dre, he's Mac Dre's manager. Uh, he's managed several other people. Uh, uh, and, and, and been the reason why a lot of other people's career have, you know, blossomed. Whether it be demographically or however it may be, but he's playing the seeds of a lot of people. He was one of the first persons to take me and get me shows outside of California. Um, and it was times where I was just hopping the car with him with a, a, a case of CDs and was like, This time I'm going to eat. Got 100 CDs, I can sell them for $5, two, three, four, five dollars $5, but at this time I'm going to eat. And, and you know, and uh, believe in yourself. Surviving on a, you know, top ramen diet, baby. <laughs> you know, we all know, you know, this college, so top ramen is serious, baby. <laughs> but believing in yourself most of all, saying, man, can I make this happen? And I will make this happen, and I'm going to make this happen. And, you know, that's, that's what the plan C is for us, man. We're doing it everywhere, every city. So years later, years later you know, um, there's an old saying that says, um, he who planted his seeds yesterday rests in his shades tomorrow. And basically, the fruits of your labor plant these seeds, and these trees grow. And these trees become your shade from the hard times when the sun comes. You can hide under these trees and rest under these trees because you've worked so hard to plant these before. So that's what we're doing. That's, that's, like I said, that's the story of my career. Simple things that we take for granted. It's the simple things in life that we got to be proud of. Like, my brother wrote me a letter a couple months ago. And he said, man, you don't understand the simple things, man. He said, man, I'm, in, I'm sharing a cell with somebody who hasn't seen a moving car in 16 years. That's something that we don't we, we take for granted. Imagine not seeing a moving car for 15 years. That's crazy. Like, but this is what's going on. It's people who've been on death row 20 something years and never seen a moving car. Haven't seen a cell phone. Like, you know, my brother, my brother got out like a year. Remember how boozy he was, bro? He was like, he was trying to use a cell phone. I was like, man, what I press? What you do? Like, like, what? You're like the time warp. It's a time warp. Like, it's imagine a person waking up out of a coma and being like, what? You could FaceTime somebody? This was on the Jetsons. Like, this is. Well, 
it's the 10th year anniversary. Um, 10 years since he took me to Mac Dre and was like, you gotta listen to my little cousin. Like, he ain't nobody brought in there. He brought in. And Mac Dre was like, well, Cuddy, I see Cuddy on a couple DVDs. <laughs> Cuddy, cool. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But man, I'm gonna start this label called Thids. And uh, I just wanna go get the best of the best in the Bay Area, man. Dre, Dre was killed in uh, 2004 in November. And it was like, it, it was just crazy. It was crazy. He never got a chance to see that album come out. But, you know, he had heard me working on was in the studio working on it and stuff like that. He was like, Cuddy, this is going to be hard, buddy. I'm telling you, this is going to be hard. It's going to be the one. And uh, he died in November, and I didn't get a chance to put the album out until, like, March. Like, Mar I think it was, like, March, April. So when I put it out, I just represented for him, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything that we did, all the interviews, all, it was just, it was for him. It was lit. Uh, and then that was called Son of a Pimp. And that was the project that kind of broke wind of me in, 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 in the way in the Bay Area, like where I began to get a name and I began to be the you know the chosen new guy um, and climb up in the ranks. So ten years later, uh, I put together this new project, The Son of a Pimp Two, and it's just like it's that project on steroids. It's uh, I got a chance to you know work with artists that I've been working with and dealing with some of my favorite artists. The collaboration with Kendrick Lamar on the album. It's like a real dope hip hop rap song. Um, another one of my favorite rappers, Ruben Fiasco, is on there. Um, some Pete Rock production, Jake Lemon production. It's it's nice. It's like it's a real nice album. Man. Um, just realize never getting lost in like rap is a fallacy. Hip hop, it's a it's a show, man. Unfortunately, it's a show. It's a uh, WWF. WWE, like you know, um, and that's unfortunate. But just, just, just being honest, it's a persona that you have to wake up and like, okay, I'm in rapper mode. Let me get in rapper mode. It's uh, never get caught up in that. I'm always be standing, you know, no matter where I'm at, no matter who I'm around, no matter what, I'm always be standing. I'm always have a second to, you know, talk to someone, take a picture with someone, and you know, um, that's just how I am.